Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about paper 2 of SPM Mathematics 2021, question 13 to question 15. Question 13. Please pause and read the question. Question A. These all numbers received by Joey, Carl, and Liam by using set notation. The number card that received by Joey are prime numbers which are less than 10. A prime number is a whole number greater than 1 with only 2 factors. The set obtained by Joey is 2, 3, 5, and 7. Multiples of 2 which are less than 9. 2, 4, 6, and 8 is the set for car. Factor of 15. Factor means a number that divides another number with no remainder. 1, 3, 5, and 15 are factor of 15. This is the set for Liam. Question 13b. Draw a Venn diagram to show the relation between all the three sets. Carl and Liam have no common element between them. They are disjoint sets. The set for Carl and set for Liam. Set Joey is intersect with Carl and Liam. 2 is the common element for Carl and Joey. The common elements for Joey and Liam 3 and 5. Joey left with the number 7. Carl left with the numbers 4, 6, and 8. And Liam left with the numbers 1 and 15. Question 13b2. Hence, represent the regions that contain the different numbers between them by using symbols union, n, or intersect. The regions that contain the different numbers are 4, 6, 8, 7, 1, and 15. 4, 6, 8, 1, and 15 are outside of the set J. It can be represented by complements of J. 7 is outside of the set K and set L, where the place represented by the complement of K union L. Therefore, the different numbers between the three sets can be represented by the complement of J union the complement of K union L in a bracket. Question 14. Please pause and read the question. Question A. Using matrix method, find the price in Ringgit Malaysia of a slice of pizza and a cupcake. Let the price for pizza equals P, the price for cupcake equals C. Lisa buys 3 slices of pizzas and 6 cupcakes by using the first voucher which worth 45 Ringgit Malaysia. 3P plus 6C equals 45. Equation number 1. The next day, her sister buys 7 slices of pizza by using the second voucher also worth 45 ringgit Malaysia. 7p equals 45. However, the value of the second voucher is insufficient. 7p is not equal to 45. And she needs to add some cash which is equal to the price of cupcake. That is, 7p equals 45 plus c. Transpose c to the left hand side. 7p minus c equals 45. Equations number 2. Express the linear equation as a matrix form, the coefficient matrix, the variable matrix, and the constant matrix. Transpose the coefficient matrix from the left hand side to the right hand side. Become an inverse matrix and place at the left hand side of the constant matrix. Express the inverse matrix. Recall the formula of the inverse matrix. Let's say we have the matrix A with elements A, B, C, and D. For inverse matrix A, shape the positions of A and B. Put negatives in front of B and C and divide everything by the determinant A, B minus B, C. Let's see the inverse of the matrix 3, 6, 7, minus 1. 1 over determinant 3 times minus 1 minus 6 times 7. Shift the positions of 3 and minus 1. Put negative to the numbers 6 and 7 and the constant matrix. We have the determinants minus 45. Then solve the matrix equation by multiplication. The first row, first column, minus 1 times 45 plus minus 6 times 45. And the second row, second column, minus 7 times 45 plus 3 times 45. By calculating, we get a column matrix of minus 315 and minus 180, both divided by 45. The solution P equals 7 and C equals 4. 
It costs Lisa 7 ringgit Malaysia per pizza and 4 ringgit Malaysia per cupcake. Questions 14 B. Lisa and her sister want to use the third voucher to buy 4 pieces of pizzas and 2 cupcakes. Is the third voucher sufficient for them to buy the pizzas and cupcakes? Justify your answer by using matrix multiplications only. The three vouchers with the total value of 125 ringgit Malaysia. The remaining value of third vouchers equals 125 minus 45 minus 45 equals 35. They want to buy 4 pieces of pizzas and 2 cupcakes. 4P plus 2C. Convert it to matrix form with the row matrix 4, 2 and multiply with column matrix P, C. P equals 7 and C equals 4. 4 times 7 plus 2 times 4 equals 36. The purchase value is 36 ringgit Malaysia while the voucher value is 35 ringgit Malaysia. Therefore, voucher is insufficient for them to buy the pizzas and cupcakes. Question 15. Please pause and read the question. Using X to represent the number of children and Y to represent the number of adults. There are 12 rows of seats and 3 seats in each row. Total seat equals 12 times 3 equals 36. The number of passengers is at most maximum can be represented by the linear inequality. X plus Y is less than or equals to 36. The rule of riding the roller coaster is that a child must be accompanied by at least one adult, indicating that the number of children is less than or equals to the number of adults. That is, x is less than or equals to y. Invert the linear inequality to y is greater than or equals to x. Question 15b. Draw and shake the region that satisfies the system of linear inequality in question 15a. Draw a table and label with x and y. Convert the given linear inequality x plus y is less than or equals to 36 to the form of a linear equation x plus y equals 36. Put x value of 0 into the equation y is equals to 36. And do the same. Try x equals 36. Substitute 36 into the variable x of equations. 36 plus y equals 36. Transpose 36 to the right hand side. 36 minus 36, y equals 0. Using a scale of 2 cm5 presence on both x's, x and y. Cut the point 0, 36. x is 0, y is 36. And the point 36, 0. x is 36 and y is 0. Join them up with a solid line. We graph the equation as a solid line due to the inequality sign is less than or equals to. Solid line is included in the solution and shake the unsatisfied regions that's above the strike line. Draw a table and label with x and y. For the linear inequality, y is greater than or equals to x. Convert it to a linear equation y is equals to x. When x equals 0, then y equals 0. If x equals 30, then y also the value of 30. Plot the point 0, 0, x is 0, y is 0. And the point 30, 30, x is 30 and y is 30. Join them up with a solid line. And treat the unsatisfied region that's below the strike line. For the linear inequality, x is greater than or equals to 0. Convert it to a linear equation of x equals 0. x equals 0 is a vertical line and it's the line of y-axis. Draw a solid line on the y-axis and shift the unsatisfied regions to the left of the line x equals 0. For the linear inequalities, y is greater than or equals to 0. Convert it to a linear equation of y equals 0. y equals 0 is a horizontal line and it's the line of x-axis. Draw a solid line on the x-axis and shade the unsatisfied region that's below the strike line, y equals 0. Now, the unshaded region is shown clearly. Here is the solution set for the three linear inequalities. All the solutions can be found in this region. 
the solution to a system of the three linear inequalities. Since we shade the unsatisfied regions, shaded the region gently with the pencil so we can erase easily then. Question 15c. Can 14 children and 10 adults ride the roller coaster at the same time? Justify your answer. Plot the point 14, 10 on the graph. The point 14, 10 lies outside the shaded region. Imply that 14 children and 10 adults can ride the roller coaster at the same time. Therefore, the answer is no, because the point 14, 10 lies outside the shaded region. Question 15d. After a safety inspection, there are four rows of seats which need to be repaired and cannot be used temporarily. The number of seats need to be repaired is equal to 4 times 3 equals 12. A linear inequality such that the number of passengers of the roller coaster is at most maximum can be written as x plus y is less than or equals to 36 minus 12. That is, x plus y is less than or equals to 24. Hence, draw a straight line on the graph in question 15b representing the linear inequality that you mentioned in question 15b number 1. x plus y is less than or equals to 24. Convert the given linear inequality x plus y is less than or equals to 24 to the form of a linear equation x plus y equals 24. Draw a table and label with x and y. Put x value of 0 into the equation, y is equal to 24. And do the same, try x equals 24. Substitute 24 into the variable x of the equation, 24 plus y equals 24. Transpose 24 to the right hand side, 24 minus 24, y equals 0. Plot the point 0, 24, x is 0, y is 24. In the point 24, 0, x is 24, and y is 0. Join them up with a solid line. A straight line, x plus y equals 24 is drawn. I want to thank you for going through this lesson with me. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.